Let's go to Ashley calling in from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Ashley, what's your question for Pastor Adriel? Hey, gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Doing well. Thanks for giving us a call, brother. What's your What's your question? Um, I was just something that I kind of struggle to comprehend or understand is, is in the Bible when it talks about you know we talk about the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit being one. Um, but in the Bible, you know, it talks about when Jesus prays to the Father. Uh, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. Uh, you know, that's like second person. Mm-hmm. And so I, I just, you know, God sent his son to die for us, things like that. You know, that's like second person. So I, I understand the Trinity, but I also, as we say, if they say they're one, then why does he speak in second person like that? I, I struggle to understand that. Yeah. Well, you're not alone. Uh, this is the great mystery of the Christian faith, and many, many faithful people have struggled to understand this in, in the early church. You know, you think of, of uh, the, you know, the revelation that was given by God to his people, in particular in the New Testament, and as they're coming to grips with these statements, you know, given to us, places like John chapter 1, verse 1, speaking of Jesus, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. A very clear statement to the deity of Jesus Christ, and yet you you have that distinction there. Um, He was with God, that is, with God the Father, and he was God. And so, you know, Christians for for years were wrestling with, how do we we best articulate this? And that's where we get the doctrine of the Trinity. It's from the clear teaching of Scripture, um, trying to communicate what God has revealed to us. Now, you're right. God is one. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. This is the the sort of heartbeat of Hebrew piety. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And yet this one God exists eternally in three persons, reveals himself in these three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And these three persons are distinct from, from each other, from one another. And so the way in which we we sometimes talk about this, Ashley, is we we say God is one in essence, in substance, uh, in terms of, of, you know, the Godhead, the nature of deity, if you will. Um, There's one God, but there are three distinct persons in the Godhead. And that's just what, what Scripture reveals to us. And actually, the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, he references that, that passage I, I mentioned earlier in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And he says this, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5, For although there are may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many, quote, gods and many, quote, lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father from whom are all things and for whom we exist, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom are all things and through whom we exist. What's fascinating about this is Paul takes Deuteronomy 6.4, essentially, and he inserts Jesus into it. Jesus, the eternal word of the Father, is the one God, a part of the one God, if you will, um, the Godhead. And so, again, the doctrine of the Trinity is we believe in one God, one in essence, three distinct persons. And this is just how Scripture, how God reveals himself to us uh, in Scripture. And it is a great mystery, but it's not a contradiction because we're not saying that God is one person and three persons. We're saying God is one in essence and three distinct persons. If we were saying God was one person and three persons, that would be a contradiction. No, God is one in essence, um, but but the one God reveals himself as the three persons of the Holy Trinity. Um, and so I, I sympathize with you, brother, because this is a mystery. This is something that, that, I mean, more to be adored than speculated about. We're just we're just receiving how God has revealed himself to us in Scripture, and we're saying amen, and we're worshiping Father, Son, and Holy Spirit um, because that's what, what the Bible says to do, and that's what the, the ancient church did as well. And so we've received that, we've inherited that, um, and we submit to it as God's revelation, even though um, we might struggle to comprehend it. And let me just say this, uh, you know, any God that we could perfectly comprehend or wrap our minds around probably would not be worth worshiping uh, and would probably be an invention of our minds. And, and in fact, that's what you see all around us today. But that's not the God of Scripture. The God of Scripture reveals himself to us as one God, three distinct persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank Thanks, Ashley, for your question. Great explanation. And as you said, Adriel, that's one of the most mysterious things about uh, God's nature. 
is trying to figure out the Trinity. And some of the examples that were often given kind of fall short, don't they? They do. And frankly, I mean, we're talking about the uncreated God. And so when we try to create sort of, you know, human examples or illustrations, a lot of times they sort of veer into false teaching related to who God is because, because again, right, illustrations, they just, they just fall short of grasping the, the glory of this doctrine. And that's why it's best to stick with the language of Scripture, the language of the, the historical creeds and confessions of the Christian church as men and women wrestle through these things and understanding the Bible and then articulated very clearly, I think, what, what we do see in the Scriptures, which is that doctrine of the Trinity. Hey, friends, thanks for watching that video. I trust that it was encouraging to you. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're looking for more great content coming from Core Christianity. And if you haven't done so yet, would you give this video a like? It's one of the ways that we can continue to get the word out. Uh, so like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. May the Lord bless you.